cupcake position. Make sure you can balance the violin. Now, cupcake position is what I call the position we have when we start playing and we're just using open strings. The fingers rest on the shoulder of the violin in little box shapes. So you can see my nails are straight up and down. My fingers are very curved. My thumb is underneath the violin. Now we don't normally want to touch the varnish, but because we're learning, we are going to hold the violin this way. Now what we don't want is pancakes. This does not prepare the left hand for the fingerboard. So we want to prepare the left hand for the fingerboard. And then we practice tapping. One, two, three, four. 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 You can also try tapping two at a time. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. These exercises are great to do with a pencil at school, but basically you want to get used to tapping the fingers and having this shape so that when you go to the fingerboard, you go in the right position. So you're used to having this box shape because obviously we can't play like this. One note, when you're tapping, the third finger is on the same string as the fourth finger, so you can't lift it very high, so don't try. You can lift it when you lift the fourth finger, but the other fingers, when you tap, can lift very high, but not the third finger. It only lifts up a little bit, and that's fine. That's what we want, so don't try to lift it because you'll hurt your finger. If you lift your fourth, then the third will go up as well. Okay, so cupcakes and tapping. You practice doing it rhythmically. From the fourth finger, lift and get ready. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You can practice putting them down. One, two, three, four. And lift them up. Four, three, two, one. practicing tapping the fingers. Really, really important because again, it prepares you for here. So if you're just using open strings, make sure you spend a little bit of time every night tapping the different fingers so that you start to tell your brain that you need some finger independence. Good luck.